Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. Happy holidays. No matter what you celebrate, I hope you're having a wonderful time with family and loved ones or just staying warm in the house. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a really quick buck by doing minimal effort, turning trash into another person's treasure. So let's get flipping. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I got these off of Facebook Marketplace for $20 a couple months ago, and I somehow miraculously fit them into my car and brought them home. They were honestly in a little worse shape than I thought they were. When I got there, they were rusted and a lot of the screws were loose, but honestly, that was no problem. I mean, it was 20 bucks, so what do you expect, you know? I knew I wasn't going to be able to use something like Barkeeper's Friend, the rust was just too bad and I knew that it wouldn't be removed, so I resorted to buying some spray paint and we are going to spray it gold. So before we do that, we're going to sand, so you're going to want to use a protective mask and a piece of sandpaper. I am using a 180 grit sandpaper and I'm making sure to go over most of the rusty spots, that way you don't get any of the texture in your finished product, and then I'm going over every inch of these pieces pieces, trying to give it a little bit of a scuff so the paint has something to adhere to. This table was particularly bad with the rusting, so I went in with my orbital sander and just did the same grit 180 and went over all of the rust. For this big boy, the process was just a little different. All I had to do was go in there and tighten up all of the joints so that it wouldn't be so wobbly. And this was super easy. I just went in there with the screwdriver and tightened all the screws. Brass is a super popular item right now, and even though these aren't real brass, I knew that these would probably have a good chance of selling, and selling for a pretty nice penny. I tried not to list them for that much more than I bought them for, given that pretty much anything over 20 would give me a profit, so I listed them at an affordable price afterwards. But honestly, these were on Facebook Marketplace for a really long time, and I can see why. With the amount of rust, it did take a little bit of work to get them looking nice, so it felt really nice to do that instead of letting them end up in the trash. For a spray today, we're using this guy and I'm using a grip. I have never used one, but I highly recommend getting one because they are so useful and take all of the pressure off of your pointer finger, which can, you know, get kind of, kind of pain, kind of painful if you have little sensitive fingies like, like me. In the future though, I think I'll be using my paint sprayer with some nice quality gold paint instead of these aerosol cans because they're really bad for the environment, so next time I'm definitely going to do that. When spraying, instead of going in with huge amounts of paint like this and ending up with drips, I recommend doing what I'm doing here and just do really quick sprays. That way you don't end up with a lot of paint that ends up dripping and dragging your paint finish down. This little bench here honestly didn't have that much rust on it, but I wanted it to look cohesive with the other finishes, so I went in there anyways. These tables, like I said, they had a lot of rust, so I had to give them a really good sanding, but afterwards, the finish ended up looking really, really nice. Once all the pieces had a good layer of gold, I went in there with a polyurethane spray and just sprayed every inch of each piece. That way, I could ensure that the paint that I sprayed on would never come off, or if not never, it would just last a long time. I did three total coats of this top coat. And just as a reminder, here is what I was working with before. They were very rusted, in really poor shape, and didn't look all that good. Not including drying time, it took me about an hour and a half to finish this whole project, and here is what they look like now.
For the cost of materials, I ended up spending $20 on all of these pieces, and then the paint was $20, and the grip was six, and then for the two pieces of sandpaper, I'm gonna say a dollar each. And here is how much I sold each item for. So with the grand total being $500, including expenses, our total profit was $451. I love being able to do what I do and save furniture from the landfill. Here is a little preview of what's coming up. If you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and do all those things so that we can stay a happy flippin' family. And until next time, guys, stay flippin'.